All right, perfect. Welcome. Thank you for logging on in intermediate class. Make sure that you have a pillow that we're going to work with today. We're going to use a lot of drills for this pillow, so make sure you have one just for yourself. It's going to be really, really important that you have one today. All right, and then after that said, I think we can get started. How's everyone doing today? Thumbs up, thumbs down, hand loose. All right, perfect. So let's start with that bowing on in first, facing towards the front. Kunye. All right, perfect. So it's good to see everyone today. Who remembers what our life skill is? Starting with the B. Yes, I can. It's belief. And there's going to be a lot of tough drills today. And are we going to give up on these? It's just going to be a pillow. Can't be that hard, right? Just promise me that we're not going to give up today. All right, so let's get started. This is going to be our first warm. Let's have our hands. Yeah! These are called twister push-ups. First, I want you guys to show me a spin. Just like that. Who can spin really, really fast? Use your front foot for it one more time. Spin. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to do a round kick, and I want you to spin all the way around, just like this. And then you're going to go down for a push-up. You guys can't see me, see me, but I can see you guys do it. So I like calling these twister push-ups. So I want to see five on both legs. Have our hands up. Ready, go. One, around, and down. Ready, two, pull. drop. Make sure you're doing your push-up. Three, down. Four. And last one, five. And down. Not done yet, other side, yeah. All right, perfect, if you're just now logging on in, use your back leg, round kick around. Go down for a push up. That's one down, four more to go, two. And three. Almost done. Don't slow down. Four. And five. Go down and up. Perfect job, everyone. Hopefully you're not too busy. Go ahead and grab your pillow now. All right, perfect. This is how it's going to work. Let's go over our fifth warrior combo. I'm going to get a little bit closer to you guys. Show me your uppercut. Oh, you guys have some pretty pillows to work with. Show me your uppercut. Huh. Show me your cross, hook, and uppercut. One more time. Four punches. Up, cross, hook, upper. Let's switch with those uppers. Show me how to do it one more time. How do I get my power through it? I'm twisting my whole body where? Up, even with my shoulder. It's like it's what? Making a, what shape is this? We should all know. A square, right? No, it's a circle. So we're rotating upwards on that side. What I want you else to work on now? You're gonna grab your pillow and I want you to try to keep your pillow up in the air only using your uppercuts. So I'm gonna try to give it two punches first. I got three down. I want you to try to keep it in there as long as you can. So go ahead and go for it now. Try it either facing up or to the side. Try your uppercuts. One, two. I only got two. But keep on going. I want to see if anyone can get up to five. Go for it. And remember, when we're doing our uppercuts, keep on going. It's going up like this. I'm not punching like a volleyball. So keep on going. One, two. Three. One, two, three. And if it gets too far away, finish it off with a cross. One, two, three. Perfect. Who's got that down? Let's try it together one more time. Boom, boom, ha. All right, perfect. We're going to be using that in a second now. Let's review over that whole combination that we're working on, especially with our blocks. Let's go over all of our word combinations. Show me your jab, cross. Good, we can put our pillows down for right now. We're gonna use them later. Show me cross, hook, cross. How do we put in our blocks with that? Show me, show me a block with our backhand, jab, cross. 
Now, what about our other one? Using our cross hook cross. Show me your front block out here. Cross, hook, cross. If you know how to run, or if you know how to march, you know how to punch. You know, I think we can actually combine that together. So here's what it's gonna look like now. Hands up, yeah! Ready. Show me your outer block, jab, cross, outer block, cross, hook, cross. Who's got that down? That's a lot to remember. Show me one more time. Backhand, block, jab, cross, front hand, block, cross, hook, cross. All right. Ooh, some, nice job, Alessandra. Let's see if everyone else can keep up. Ready? Show me. Outer block, jab, cross, outer block, cross, hook, cross. You guys feel the rhythm now? Outer block, jab, cross, outer block, cross, hook, cross. Switch sides. Hello to any animals in the background. Outer block, jab, cross, outer block, cross, hook, cross. All right, perfect. Let's go over our kicks now. Have our hands up, yeah. So let's go over, hmm, let's go over our first one. We have that switch back for your round kick. We're stepping up for that round. And who remembers our last one? Show me, or actually, how about this? Let's work on that Olympic style key that we can work on. Have our hands up. Show me with that chamber up and to the side. Does everyone remember how this works? After I pop this one out, we're gonna switch, pop, and kick with the other leg. Who can do that quickly? Let's try it with a front kick round kick first. Front, switch, round. And if you got that down, round, switch, round. Good, this is what we're gonna work on now. Go ahead and grab your pillow. All right, before we do this, this is gonna be really tough. I don't think you guys can do it. What do you have to say about that? Yes, you can. All right, this is gonna be a tough one. I believe in you guys, ready? We're gonna have this pillow out and we're gonna do that repeat round kick and we're gonna try to hit it with both kicks. I'm gonna throw it up, boom, pow. And you're gonna hit that pillow two times, just like that. So I'll show you one more time. That first one is gonna be a light kick. I won't kick towards that direction anymore. I'm gonna do that light kick coming out one, and when it switches over, two. Who can show me that? It's just like your jab cross, but only with your legs. One, two. <laughs> All right, perfect. So I want you guys to keep on trying that out. I'm gonna have Uplift HQ, highlight some of my awesome ninjas who are kicking it with both their legs before it falls on the ground. I'll keep on doing it with you guys. Be right back. So remember, it's that switch in the air. Who's got it down? Ooh, very close. All right, perfect. Now it's everyone's chance at you, sir. This is going to be our next one. Who remembers our spin hook kick? It's also in a combination after our switch switch. Looking behind, spinning, hook out. This is what we get to practice for. So if you're still working on having the kick come out, maybe if it's too, too early on that side or if it doesn't go out all the way, I want you to grab your pillow, be in your sparring stance, and have your kicking leg behind you. This is gonna be really easy. We tried this before. You're gonna throw up this pillow, whoop, and you're gonna spin around and catch it again. And we're kind of getting faster and faster than that. Toss, spin, catch, toss, spin, catch. Now, if you keep on getting that down, I'll show you guys one more time. Toss, spin, catch. Make sure we're pivoting with the ball of our foot, not our heel, or we might fall over. I want you to try putting out your leg after you toss it up. It doesn't even have to be a full kick. If you want it to stay in the chamber, it can work that way too. Toss, spin, and catch. Toss, spin, and catch. Who's got that down so far? Let's see, I'm gonna try to put it on gallery so I can see you guys. All right, keep on going. 
All right, perfect. I'm seeing pills fly everywhere. It looks like you guys are ready for our last step. Show me it by trying to do a reverse side kick or a spin hook kick. So this is your moment of truth. Toss it up. Make sure it's a little bit farther than you this time because if it's too close, your foot won't be able to extend it out. Toss, spin, kick. So try that out, everyone. You guys are doing fantastic. From this screen over here, it looks like a tornado of kids. Just keep on spinning and spinning and spinning. Keep on going. Toss, spin, and kick. Perfect. All right, awesome. Now three on ten, say yes, sir. Perfect. Let's try to put that all together now. Let's put our pillow away and see that kicking combination. Have our hands up. Show me a repeat round. Boom, pow. Or our Olympic round kick. Good. Switch back, step round. Step up, round kick. Good. Switch, switch, round. Switch, switch, spin hook, we got this. And show me your tornado kick. Step in, jumping, and a kick. Who wants to try that out with a tornado kick? You're gonna toss that pillow a little bit farther than you. Make sure it goes high up. So as it's time to travel back down so you can kick it. You're tossing it up, stepping in for that tornado kick. Who can try that out? And remember, pillows aren't the only target we can use. You can get smaller and smaller until you're just using a tennis ball. All right, perfect. That's everyone chance at yes, sir. Have our hands up. All right, we're gonna get back to this in the end of class, but let's go over that sparring combination now. Have our hands up. Same with our kicks. We're doing a lot of kicks today. Ready? Show me your first one. I'm, I'm gonna do it from the side. Show me that stationary round kick. Out into your sparring stance. Good. Show me that round kick again. Boom. Then the same sides, boom, pow. And then different sizes. Maybe kick a small bad guy and then a tall bad guy. And then show me that sliding round kick. Who can get that down? Do it facing towards me, I'll do it towards you guys. Slide, round kick. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but when I do that slide, it makes a dragging sound, not a little, Hopping sound like that because my feet is actually dragging across. All right, now I want you to show me with your fingers. Everyone, show me a thumbs up. Where should our foot be pointing? Um, pointing to our grounded foot. If I'm sliding towards a target, what do you guys think? If my target was well, this puppy dog over here, we're not actually going to hit him. We're just going to be sliding towards them. Where is my foot going to be pointing to? Towards him or away? It's gonna be away from them, right? Because when we have our foot facing away, when I'm sliding, I still have that balance so I don't fall where? I don't fall over. Show me that sliding kick one more time. Hands up, yeah! Ready, slide in, kick. All right, perfect. Let's have everyone tense it, yes sir. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you guys. Who's the black belt? The only reason why Mr. Ramos has a chair right now is because I'm too tall to be standing in front of you guys like this. All right, so let's go over our blocks that we've been going over for our um, form this semester. Ready, have our hands up. Actually, everyone show me a middle stance. Yeah, I think we all remember this one. Show me your outer block. Low block, good. And when we raise our leg up for our funky punch. But what does that also look like? Who remembers our advanced blocks? Who remembers what this is called? This is a cover. But instead of protecting my head, it's protecting my what? My tummy. So it's our body block on this side. So show me that one more time. Outer block, low block, cover, and punch. Show me on the other side. Outer, lower, cover, and punch. Twin low, twin inner. Show me your rich hand and what line it travels in. Show me on this side. Good job. Now I want you guys to get closer to the camera. Show Mr. Ramos your rich hand. How does it start off? 
Is my hand facing down or up? What do you guys think? Show me. It's facing up first. Because when I have it go out, then what does it do? It twists. You got it. And I'm keeping my thumb back. Show me that one more time. Having it in. And show me your rich hand. And actually, I want you guys to really work on this. Um, I didn't tell you to bring it in the beginning of class, so I want you guys to move quick. My apologies. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper. Grab one piece of paper. Yes, any will do. The bigger, the better, because um, you guys are still starting out with using a rich hand to chop paper in half. We usually use knife hand strikes. All right, perfect. Hello, Goku. All right, perfect. So, yes, this paper works just fine. So, show me your rich hand one more time. We're not going to hit our paper yet. Show me it towards the camera. Cool. I want you guys to show me this part of your hand here, so I make sure that you guys aren't hitting it with your thumb. So, is this right? How about this side? There's one more thing I have to fix. My arm is still a little bit too straight. It's kind of going out like a wing. Everyone show me your, your swan wings. I don't know, they're not quite duck wings. Good. And does everyone see how our arms are always kind of bending over? That's how I kind of want us to strike with our rich hand on this side. What happens if I pull my rich hand in? Then it looks like a what? An elbow strike. So this is how I want you guys to do it. Put a rip on both sides of your paper, just like this. Good. And you're gonna be holding it underneath your hand with the one that you aren't chopping it with. Ooh, we seem to be a little bit frozen right now. Show me your rich hand, chopping out, just like this. Try to make a rip onto the paper. So remember, we're going down at what kind of angle? Straight, side, or diagonally? What do you guys think? It's moving in the same way as our elbow. So we're using it diagonally. So show me one more time. This is going to be tough, but are we going to give up? No. Ready? Show me your rich hand. Out. Keep on going until it snaps in half. The harder the paper, the better. I'd be really, really impressed if someone had sandpaper and tried to cut that. Or can you imagine trying to cut the thunder paper in half? Amri got it down. The Zanato's got it down. Alex got it down too. Ooh, everyone's getting it. All the yips. All right, good. If you like, you can try with the other side as well. So let's get out another paper, use your other hand and chop out on that side. All right, perfect. So let's review over it one more time. Show me outer, low, funky punch, outer, low, funky punch, twin low, twin inner, rich hand, rich hand, and two punches. Yeah. All right, perfect. The better you guys have that motion down, the faster you can be. Slow equals smooth, and smooth equals fast. So show me that motion that we did one more time with the outer block and the low block. What does that kind of look like we're, we're drawing? Half of a what? Hmm, I'm still frozen right now. I apologize. But when I unfreeze, I want to see you guys show me that motion. Half of a, hello? Half of a circle, all right, perfect. So we're gonna do that same idea. What does that seem familiar to? Our self-defense. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you guys. I'm gonna be your bad guy today. Mm. I'm gonna give you that grab. And it's gonna be the one when it looks like we're going in for a handshake. Show me that same motion going from our low block this time. Coming up, what does it look like? Hello, and goodbye. Show me on the other side, your hand gets grabbed. Hello, and goodbye. 
All right, perfect. And then what about our, our same side that we worked on, pulling it back in, but not only that, coming back out with a back fist. All right, good, show me on the other side. Let's see. Hey guys, I'm sorry, Mr. Ramos keeps cutting out. Um. Let's see, it says his network bandwidth is low. Uh, are you back, Mr. Ramos? Can you guys still hear me? We can hear you, we just cannot see you very well. Ah, gotcha, all right, let's see. Hmm, I'm gonna keep on waving until you guys can see me. I'll put control and send you a picture <laughs> of my... Yeah. All right, how about now? Hello? Um, I'll put the control. Can you guys still see me now? Yeah, you're just really glitchy. Okay. You have like really low frame rate. Gotcha. Let's that see. says your network network bandwidth is low and it's all red. It's like you're in 2008. It's like 2008? Woo. <laughs> yeah. like, Out of know, all the years. It's like <laughs> past and, you know, it's like camera from 2008. Mm. Uh, Mr. Ramos, I'll be happy to jump into class while you get your Wi-Fi back. and take Yes, over. is it all right if you take it over? I just sent in my, uh, my class schedule. We're about to work on um, the lapel grab. For, for okay. self-defense. Okay, great. I'll be happy to help you with that. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to see everybody too. I know it's been a while. Um, I have seen you, but you haven't seen me because I can you know, see you from the computer screen <laughs> from a distance. But um, I ended up stepping on something really sharp and ended up having to get some stitches. So I took some time off from teaching, uh, but now my foot's feeling better and uh, I'm able to help you. So we're gonna work on how to get away from somebody grabbing you guys by uh, the shirt today, by the lapel. Um, that's just a fancy word. I think it's French for shirt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's not. All right, so we're gonna work on this. We're gonna go over like this. And uh, imagine somebody's got you by the shirt. We're going over one arm and we're going underneath the, the next arm. Okay, so you notice this is going up and then it's going down. Now it's really important. I don't wanna use my arm so much as I wanna use my body. So if you notice I'm going down, my body's turning. Now this hand's coming up. And as it comes up, what I want you to do is I want you to swing with your hips so you're going across. Do you feel the difference? All right, let's try again. So follow me, go over and under and up. And you see how my body's turning this way? Now when you turn back across, okay? All right, so now it's really important. Don't use your arms, all right? But use your body. Let's try again. One, two, and three. Now I can think of some really cool moves you can do from there. So I wanna teach you that. Are you ready? All right, so we're gonna go over and up. And now we can do an elbow strike. Who knows a move you could even continue with? Maybe you come up with an elbow strike, right? Like this, what's a move you can do? I see some people doing back fists. We can come back with this elbow. We can do a knife and strike, step back into our knee. So I wanna see what you would do, okay? Let's get our hands up. So go over, under, and across. And then you can follow up with your own move. You know, I use maybe a knife and strike or something there, right? Who can show me? Uh, let me see here. How about we watch the Vouliers? Coraline uh, and Nate. Nate's gonna act as a bully. He's gonna grab Coraline. Coraline, ready? And let's see what she does, ready? Coraline is hiding behind the bag and she ran away, which is a really good defense against somebody trying to grab your shirt. Because if you run away, they can't grab your shirt. Anybody else can show us? Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at Reina and Renisha. All right, let's see if they did it right. So Reina, uh, I'm gonna have Renisha grab you. So Renisha gonna grab Reina. Reina, let's see if you know what to do. Go over, under, and oh, very good. All right, good. I think, I think she almost pushed Renisha into the camera. All right, and that's how you would end up here. All right, so let's go and work on the next one this time. 
we're gonna work on somebody grabbing you by just one hand, okay? So for this one, what we're gonna do is what over one hand, we're gonna hook it down, all right? So follow my arm, we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go down like this. Everybody see what I'm doing? I'm going up and down, and then I'm stepping through with an elbow strike like this. So watch again. I'm going up and around that arm. So if you can imagine, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get an arm. You guys can imagine, whoa, where did this arm come from? Do you guys see this? Look, you guys see? All right, look, uh, so I wanna think about coming up to this magic fist coming from the TV is grabbing me. I wanna come up and around, right, like this. And then I'm coming striking down on the arm, and then I can elbow strike with the same hand as well. Okay? All right, cool. Let's see you guys strike. So go over one, trap that arm down one, and come in two, elbow strike. All right, or I can even go down one, hammer fist down like this, and then let go and strike with this arm. Okay, so I can think about going over and down, hammer fist down on it, and then step in an elbow, okay? This is a good time to use a hammer fist. Why would we use a hammer fist? What happens if we do a hammer fist here? Everybody watch my arm, okay? Imagine a hammer fist, what happens? My arm's gonna bend. And if your arm bends, all of a sudden I get what to you? What happens? If I bend my arm, I'm getting closer to the, to the screen. So, right, so that's a good way um, to bring somebody closer to you is hit their arm right here, right? Because that brings their body closer to you. All right, let's review. Two-handed, one, two, one-handed, trap it down, strike, come back in with your other hand, right? Cool, even going from behind, Let's turn around and say somebody's coming up from behind us. I can go right back into the other one and go right into my elbow strike. So let's practice that. Somebody's coming up from behind. This arm is coming over. I'm hooking and I'm elbow striking. Now, I want to teach you guys a good way to practice the ones we worked on today using your belt. So go really quickly. Find me a belt. Find me a belt. Very fast. All right, and ASAP, I need a belt. I don't know where a belt is. All right, let's find a belt. I'll be right back. Everybody, who's got a belt? I have a belt now. All right, watch this. You guys see? Okay, cool. All right, so one of the ways you guys can think about this um, is if you guys, I'm just gonna show you guys something you can do later on. Take a, take a chair, okay? And I know this looks crazy, but you can take a chair, you can tie your belt. Look at this, isn't this cool? You can tie your belt around the chair like this. Everybody see? And we can practice. My chair's a little wobbly. We can practice what it, what it takes to get closer to an object by wrapping our arm around it. And so we can go one, I can practice kind of overhooking motion by holding it and wrapping it up once, right like this. And I'm closer and I can work on even switching sides and wrapping it up on this side and going back. So it teaches me that motion it takes to trap something, right? And then strike. Isn't that kind of neat? Okay. You guys um, see what I'm doing? So it's a good way to learn how to get closer to something, right? You get really good, you can even use like a resistance band and work on trying to trap it and pull it closer. Let it go, trap it, pull it closer, let it go, okay? Do you guys kind of see what I'm talking about? I think Nate understands. Let's see if Nate got it. Nate, show me how to trap that rope and get closer. Ready, go ahead. Ready, go. Yep, and then trap it with that arm, go over and under. Yep, and so Nate, you are almost there. You're gonna just wrap that arm around. Anybody else got the idea? So we can use that belt to trap that arm. Go back over, okay? Um, so Mr. Ramos, how are we doing on your uh, bandwidth over there? Um, how, are, how are we doing? Um, can you guys still hear me? Am I moving fluidly? Yep, you're looking good. I'm gonna spotlight back to you now that we've- All right, perfect. Thank you, Mr. John. All right, awesome. So that was a really awesome um, idea to work with, especially with that self-defense. You can- um, also tie it to other objects as well, not just a chair. Like if you guys have a stairwell, like I'm seeing uh, on the rails behind Mr. Nate, you can tie it on that top handrail section and just practice that wrapping motion, trapping over and that elbow strike. All right, perfect. Now you can finally see Mr. Ramos again. Let's continue. Let's go back into that sparring combination, have our hands up, especially with that slide. Show me sliding round kick, ha, using our front leg. All right, now I want you to try sliding towards me three times. Make sure you back up so you have enough room because I don't want you to hit the cameras. Already have your hands up. Show me slide, slide, slide. You don't even have to kick with it yet. Just show me how to leave with that chamber up. Good, make sure our hands up um, are up as well. All right, now show me with those kicks. Show me slide, kick, kick, kick. All right, perfect. And then, all right, so this is gonna be our first combination well, our first practice is what we're gonna do with you guys. 
I'm gonna bow to you. We're gonna be partners today. Chip, come here. It's gonna be like we're doing a dance. Good luck, sir. Good luck, ma'am. All right, this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna slide towards you, and you're gonna block three of my kicks. It's gonna be round kicks, but they're gonna be at different heights. So you should check which height to block it. And then it's gonna be you guys against me. Ready? Have our hands up. Yeah. So we're going back and forth. Cha 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 cha. Hands up. Yeah. All right, ready? I'll have the oldest go first. Kick him. One, two, three. Now go for it. Sliding round kick. One, two, hoo, three. All right, perfect. Ready? And one, two, three. Go for it. Remember, different heights every time. Kick, kick, kick. Can you guys still see me? Give me a thumbs up if you can. All right, now jump and switch sides. Yeah. All right, let's try with the other leg and then we'll move on with different kicks. Here I come. One, two, three. And show me your kick skill. One, two, three. All right, perfect. Now I want us to work on different kicks. Let's try to make a sandwich out of our round kicks. I'm gonna do that sliding round kick first. This is what I really like doing. Sliding round, boop, sliding hook, and then sliding round. How about you guys show me that? Sliding round kick, hook kick, round kick, without dropping your leg. Ooh, nice job, I'll do it towards you guys. One, two, three. Good. What else can we do other than a hook kick? What's a good kick that pushes forward, that still keeps our body turned? You guys show me something that pushes, keeping our body turned, a sliding side kick. If you want, you can even do sliding round, hook, side. All right, so now it's gonna be open for any kind of kicks that you guys want as long as we're still sliding forward. Ready, hands up, yeah. All right. You guys go ahead and go first. Three kicks of your choice, sliding towards me. Go. One, two, three. Good, here I come. One, two, three. Go for it. Kicks. One, two, three. Here I come. One, two, three. And go for it. Ho, ho, ho. All right, let's bring it up to five. Who thinks we can do five? I don't think you can. What do you guys have to say about that? Yes, I can. All right, perfect. That's the right answer. Hands up, here I come. One, two, three, four, five. Go for it. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, perfect. You guys did fantastic. Did everyone say that? Yes, sir. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Before we end off on class, give Mr. John a little round of applause for helping out during technical difficulties. All right, thank you, Up HQ. I'm gonna bow you guys out, but before I do, who remembers our life skill one last time? It's belief. Yes, I can. Believing in ourselves, knowing the best that we can do. Thank you for logging on in, everyone. Bowing on out, Chip Kunye. All right, perfect. And I will see you guys soon. I'll bring it over back to Uplift HQ. And hey everyone, uh, before you leave, uh, just a couple of announcements. Uh, I wanna let you know that we're looking forward to seeing you soon. Um, we're gonna be posting a video about how you can come back into class and make sure that you're training uh, safely when you guys do come back in. So one of the things we're working to do is make sure that not only do you guys have a great fun class when you come back, we wanna make sure that we are the safest class because fun is only fun if it's safe. So we're gonna make sure that we have really good um, procedures in place to keep you guys, um, you know, um, uh, everything sanitized and make sure you guys are safe to train. Um, so that's why we're taking some time to get ready and open back up. Um, so, but we do miss you guys very much. And I think we'll see you hopefully very soon if you're able to make it back to class. Now, if you're somebody still training from home, don't worry because we're going to be doing online classes for forever. Okay. Uh, as long as there's the internet, we'll have some form of online class that you guys can take. As long as the internet doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Bye. So, uh, <laughs> uh, really quickly, if you guys want to take a look, I'll show you guys around the school. Um, really quickly, we are finishing up making some uh, squares, and each person now is going to have your own box. So, um, in case you guys didn't think there were enough boxes already at the school, uh, we're adding more boxes in. Um, I'll give you guys a little math math problem. How many squares? How many squares can you find 
inside of the school? Counting all the rectangles or anything like that. Any, how many squares do you guys see? If anybody ever gets it right, <laughs> I'll be really impressed. You have to count anything that makes a square shape. You know, windows, words. All right, I think there has to be hundreds if you guys think about all the squares we have. Um, anyway, um, also we have some new equipment I wanna show you guys really quick too. So um, you're not gonna see some of the other equipment that we used to use in class as much, uh, just for a little bit of time, because uh, we wanna make sure that we're keeping you guys very safe and clean. So we have your own weapon where one instructor will only touch one side and you guys will get a touch of the side and you'll be practicing your punches and kicks on this special piece of equipment. Does anybody know what I made it with? Anybody know the two ingredients that made this? Well, no, it wasn't back. Something you guys can make at home. All right, Andrew, can you guess one of them? Um, all right, here. Can you guess? Andrew, I'm unmuting you. Hello, hello? All right, what's one of the ingredients? The ingredients. Duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> yes, I made it with duct tape. And what's the secret ingredient on the inside? Uh, Sadie. I, I look like Sadie's going to explode. All right, hold on a second. Yes, Sadie, what's the other ingredient? Um, a noodle. Yes, a pool noodle. So yet yeah, I spent all yesterday making noodles. Um, not the type you eat, but the type you hit kids with. So um, this is gonna be our new equipment where you're gonna use for class. You can practice your kicks, your punches, and you can even block with it. So I think you're gonna like it, okay? And it's an extra thick noodle with a thousand C's and K's in it, okay? So it's, it's gonna be a really good one uh, for you guys to have to block. All right, who's excited to be back in class? Who's hopefully excited to come back? All right, so yeah, and um, if you guys need extra help one-on-one, -on -one, let me know. I'll be happy to spend some time to help you guys too. Um, and if you're gonna be practicing online and not coming back in an in-person class, you're just as important. We didn't forget you, and uh, we can't wait to actually see you, you know, in person, but we're here for you online as well. So remember, it's just distance. All right, bye everybody.